Hello everyone, this is Dear from Me Academy. This video overlaps the two main topics of the closure of a set and the limit of the accumulation point. That is, what is the relation between A prime and A bar? We can understand the relation between the closure of a set and the accumulation point by a simple statement of the theorem. If x and tau is a topological space and A is a subset of x, then the theorem states that a bar is equal to a union a prime that is closure of a set is equal to the union of the set a and the accumulation set of a this is very important relation between closure and the accumulation points or the accumulation set so now we will see how to prove this because we have to prove the equality relation between a closure and this set so we will use two parts for for this for this theorem that is we have to prove a closure is a subset of of the union of a and a a prime and the second is we have to prove that a union a prime is a subset of of a closure now heading towards the first part that how we can prove this a prime union a is a superset of a closure the target is a bar is a subset of a union a prime so let a belongs to a bar that is a is a member of a closure of the set a because we know that a closure is the smallest closed set that contains A in it. By definition, we can say A is a subset of, of A closure. As A is a member of, of this A closure, then there are two cases. First case is that A is also a member of, of the set A. And the second is a is a member of closure other than the set A. If A is a member of this the set A, or the second part is that A is a member of only that closure, but not that set A. So if A is a member of A and also a is a member of A closure. So we can write it as A is also a member of A union A closure. We also know that about the interior of a set A, we can also write it as this. That interior of any set is a subset of, of that set itself. So this is the definition of the interior of set A. If A is not a member of, of that set A, this is the first case that we have discussed, but if A is not a member of the set A, this implies that A is also not a member of, of the interior of the set, because interior of a set is a smaller set compared with the set A. If A is not a part of this set, then eventually A is not a part of the interior of the set. So we can use the definition of the interior of set here, that is, if A is not uh, an interior point of a set A, then there exists no open set or the open neighborhood of that point A, such that U. So there will be no any open set U. such that A, that A is a member of U and U is a subset of A. That we know the definition of the interior definition. A said to be the interior point of, of that set A if for all of the open sets U that contains A and is also a subset of, of the set A. If A is not an interior point of the set A, then this definition does not hold. That there does not exist an open set U such that this condition holds. 
this condition that A is a subset of U and U is a subset of A. We can also understand this by using the Venn diagram. If X is a topological space, A is any random subset of X and small a is a point, that does not belong to that set A. So it is not possible for any set U to be a subset of A and also contain that point because U only intersects with A but it is not possible for U that contains that point A and also in, is a subset of, of the set A. That is why A is not a interior point a is not a member of A0. So we can say that A intersection U other than that point A is not an empty set. By using two assumptions that first is A is not a member of, of the set A and Second is he also not a part of the A dot or not a part of the interior point. So we can say that A intersection U is equal to A intersection U with other than that that point A is, is not an empty set. So this is the definition of the accumulation set which implies that A belongs to A prime. We have just used that A intersection U is equal to this type of definition and eventually this is what we use the definition for, for the accumulation set A, A prime. This implies that if A is not a part of A then it should be a part of of that accumulation set. So by using both of the informations we can write that A belongs to A union A. So this is the important part that we used in this proof as initially A was a member of A bar and in the end there were two cases for us that A should be a member of A or A is a member of, of this set. If A is not a member of this set A, then by using the definitions we have proved that A must also be a part of this accumulation set. So initially A was a member of A bar and we have proved that A is also a member of this set. This implies that a bar is a subset of A union A prime. This is the first part that we have proved now. Now moving toward the second part of this theorem. Now we have to prove is that A union A prime is a subset of A bar. That is a union of the set A and the accumulation set A is a subset of A closure. So let's make an assumption that A union A prime is, is not a subset of, of A closure. And now let's pick an element A from, from this A union A prime. This implies that A is a member of A set A or A is a member of, of this set A prime. We know that by using the definition of the closure set this thing that the set A is a subset of the closure of the set. So if A belongs to the set A then this implies that A belongs to the closure of set by using the definition of the closure of set but it is opposite to what we have assumed that A is, is not a part of 
A closure. As in the beginning, we have assumed that A union A prime is not a subset of A. A closure. So if we picked an element from A union A prime, this then this thing implies that A is not a member of A closure. But by using this definition of the closure, this implies that A is a member of of this closed set. It is a contradiction. This means that. A is not a member of this set A, just because of our assumption. Because there are two cases: if A is a member of the set A or A is a member of A prime. By using this and the definition of the closed set, we reach towards a contradiction, and this contradiction implies that this case would not be possible, and A is not a member of the set A. Now we will use this. That is, A is a member of accumulation set minus the set A. Why we have used this? Because A is not a member of the set A. Because when X is a topological space and there is any random subset A, and there were two cases for the accumulation set that A is the member of of this A, the set A or not. This is the first case, and this is the second case when A is also a member of of this. So A is not a member of this set, so this case is not possible, and. A is a member of the interior or the accumulation set A only for this case, other than the set A. That is why we use this statement that A belongs to A prime minus A. So we'll use the definition of the interior point. If U is an open set, so for all of the open sets that contains the point A, whose intersection with A. Other than the point A, why we use this? The intersection of other than the point A because A is not a point of this set A. So this intersection is is not empty. Just by using the definition, first using definition, and secondly we have used that A is not a member of the set A. Now, by the definition of the closure of set, we know that A is a subset of A closure, and we will use this A is a subset of A closure, and we can write it as now we can write it as the intersection of the open set U and uh, the closed set A bar, other than the point A. Is also not an empty set, and this is the definition of accumulation point. That is, X is here. A is the accumulation point of of the set A bar. That is a closed set. So, by definition, closure of a set A contains a point A. and we can write this as a is a member of the closed set a bar this is again a contradiction because by this assumption if a is a member of a union a prime then a should not be a member of of this a bar but by using this definition we have reached to the contradiction that a is a member of a bar this means that so a union a prime is a subset of of a bar because from the two parts we reached to the contradiction so we have proved that a union a prime is a subset of a bar So this is the second part that we we have proved now. So combining the first and the second part of this theorem, combining both of the parts, this implies that 
a union a prime is equal to a closure so this is our target and we have proved now by dividing this theorem into two parts so this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye